Hi everyone, so today we'll be looking at organic chemistry TYS. So the first question we'll be looking at is A1. Section A, question number one. So over here, the properties of a substance make it suitable for particular tasks. So complete the table by naming the substance. So this substance, uh, you need to sort of remember all the different types of substance they have learned. So repairing road surfaces, uh, this one actually comes from your petroleum your crude oil so this one is your bitumen okay lowering acidity of the soil so this is the one where the farmer because of acid rain needs to put something at the soil to make it uh, less acidic to increase the ph so this one will be your calcium hydroxide this is from the acid and base chapter so let's write this here it's from acid and base and the last one, fermenting of glucose solution. This one is from your alcohols chapter. So what do I need to put in to cause the glucose solution to ferment? So I need a yeast. Okay, so these are our questions are very common when you need to look at different chapters. So the strategy is to think of which chapter it belongs to first. And then after that, you decide uh, which, not, which part of the knowledge you need to use. All right, let's look at question number two. So question number two is about homologous series. So these are the alkenes. So the alkenes form a homologous series. State the general formula of this homologous series. So there are several ways you can do it. Uh, I like to draw it out. So alkene, we have our ethene. Ethene, it's a double bond CC. So over here, it will look like that. And this is C2H4. Uh, then after that, we have our propene, and our propene has one, two, three, uh, and then a single double bond. Uh, this C on the left has two bonds, so another two. This one has one, be careful of this, and this last one has three. So we have C3H6. So you can see that the, the number of C is always half than the number of H. So therefore, the general formula of this homologous series will therefore be CNH2N. Right? Or you can, of course, just memorize it. So one alkene contains three carbons in this molecule, and then you draw the full structural formula. So I've just that, did that. So one, two, three, uh, a double bond, right? A double bond. And then the one on the left has two bonds, so we have two more. The one in the center has three bonds, so one more. And the one in the last part has one bond, so another three more. So we fill the rest up with H. Okay. Now, members of a homologous series show a gradation. That means a gradual change in physical properties with the molecular size getting bigger. How does the boiling point with three uh, carbon atoms uh, boiling, compared to boiling point with two carbon atoms. So three carbon atoms is bigger, while two carbon atoms will be smaller. So the boiling point of a bigger molecule would be higher. So uh, propene, higher boiling point than ethene. So we need to have an explanation. So we know that these organic molecules, they are molecules. And boiling point is affected by the intermolecular forces. And this is from your chemical bonding chapter. So the intermolecular forces, if it's stronger, right? If there's stronger intermolecular force, then uh, the boiling point will be higher. Okay, so propene has stronger intermolecular forces. Please remember this. This is from chemical bonding. Stronger intermolecular forces of attraction. And once there is stronger intermolecular forces of attraction, so this one, let me highlight this for you. Right? Then more energy required to overcome these forces. So this is something you must remember. This is part of a revision for your chemical bonding. Huh? So more energy required to overcome. So that's why the boiling point is higher. 
Okay, great. Next one. So two compounds when an alkene is burned in excess air. So burn in excess air means this is combustion. So during combustion, we have to give two compounds. So the two compounds is carbon dioxide as well as water. They are both compounds. Right now we need to write the chemical equation for burning for alkene with two carbons. So two carbons will be C2H4 plus O2. We form CO2 plus H2O. Right, so we balance the carbons first. So on the left, we have two carbons. So on the right, we put two in front of the CO2. On the left, we have two hydrogens. On the four hydrogens. On the right, we have two. So we put two hydrogens here. Now on the left, on the right side, we have four oxygen here. We have two oxygen here. So we have a total of six oxygen. On the left, we have two oxygen only. So we put a three over here. Okay, so that's the strategy on how you can balance the equation more effectively. Alright, okay, let's look at question number three. So question number three is a very interesting question because it's the flow chart. And over here, we know that this is two hydrocarbons. So two hydrocarbons means that they are either alkane or alkene. They cannot be alcohols or carboxylic acids. Alright, so over here, alkenes and alkenes only contains carbon and hydrogen. So we have L and M. They're the, they have the hydrocarbons. So we, when they burn in air, let's look at this media. When they burn in air, it forms a mixture of two substances. So we know that this is actually carbon dioxide and water because combustion of alkenes and alkenes will form carbon dioxide and water. Okay, now... Uh, over here, one reacts with bromine gas, which is Br2, and one reacts with chlorine gas, which is Cl2. So we can see that this Mr28 and this 188, when we react with the bromine gas, we have an increase in 160, right? 160. And if you look at the Mr of bromine, Bromine is 80, so we have actually added to bromine. Now, that means we have added, means it's an addition reaction. So this would show, right, that this is actually an unsaturated compound. And this will most likely be the alkene. And this is further proven by this, this line over here. When L, when L is bubbled into equal solution of bromine, the solution becomes colorless, you see? So this is the test for unsaturation. Let's write that down. This is the test for unsaturation. And L passed the test for unsaturation. So it's unsaturated. But M is not saturated. So M is an alkane. It's saturated. And L, L is an alkene. So M, alkane, L, alkene. M, alkene. Huh? So let's see. So we know that M is an alkene. So let's see. We know methane, CH4. CH4, we know ethane, C2H6. So which one can be an MR of 16? So we can see that methane, MR of 16. So M is methane. And when we add in, when we react with chlorine gas, it went from 16 to 50.5. And chlorine has a MAR of 35.5. So if it's 15.5, it means that only one chlorine must have substituted in. So for my methane, I have done one substitution, which have my chlorine over there. Right? So this is chloromethane. O is chloromethane because of the MR. Okay. Then what else do we have? P. Ah, P, mixture of two substances. We know combustion, mixture of two substances will be carbon dioxide and water. 
carbon dioxide and water and then we have L which is an alkene and we see that it is 28 so 28 if it's C2H4 C3H6 C4H8 which of this combination will form 28 so only C2H4 right that will form 28 so L would therefore be 18 and when I add my two bromine atoms in, I got N. So this will be my dibromoethane. Please take note that this is dibromoethane, but this is ethene. Because when my ethene, let's watch this. Huh? So ethene is this. And then when I add my two bromines, it will form something like that right so we form something like this so this is my dibromoethane okay all right so now we need to write uh, chemical equations so uh, let me just write two for you so one of them would be my c2h4 my ethene uh, reacting with my bromine br2 to form my c2h4 br2 so that's one the other one is my methane, CH4, plus the chlorine gas. And then we do a substitution. So we have CH3Cl and then HCl. And of course, we got the two combustion reactions, which you can write too as well. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to do A3. A3 is quite an interesting question, so please go and practice it. Right, all the best. Bye.